Hello Aquarius. I hope everyone is having a great summer. And this is Citrina. Some of you know me as D, and some of you also know me as Astralo D. Now, this is going to be the Aquarius astrology forecast for September. So let's get right into it. Okay, we will start off with Mars. Uh, Mars is going to move into Aquarius on the 11th of the month. Okay, so Mars is moving into your sign on the 11th of the month. And remember, wherever Mars is housed, Mars, um, you will find yourself having more action in that area. So, with you, Mars is going to be in Aquarius in your first house. Your first house deals with your appearance, your demeanor, your outlook on life. So you will find yourself having more action in those areas of your life. Let's keep moving on because we will look at Mercury next. Okay, Mercury was retrograde last month for a while and it was in Leo all month last month. Now, this month, Mercury will pass through three signs, okay? It will be in Leo for a bit, Virgo for a bit, and Libra for a bit. Now, when it moves into Virgo, this is going to be a very analytical energy, okay? And it moves into Virgo in your area of your life dealing with transformation. So you will be very analytical about what you want to see happen in your life. And then it moves into Libra on the 22nd. In your area of your life dealing with legal matters, it also deals with long distance travel, higher education, things of that nature. So you will be focused on that. Your mental activity will be focused on those house nine topics once Mercury moves into Libra. Now, looking at Venus, Venus is the planet of love. And Venus moves into Scorpio on the 9th of the month, okay? It will be in the area of your life dealing with your career. Now, let's talk about the energy of Venus in Scorpio. This is a deeply intimate energy. So you will either want to be by yourself on your job or you will want to constantly be around your coworkers. Now, if, if you are in a love relationship, you will either want to be by yourself or you will either want to be snuggled up with your partner constantly when Venus moves into Scorpio. So just keep that in mind, the energy of Venus in Scorpio. The sun moves into Libra. Happy birthday, Libras, as of the 22nd. As of the, the 22nd, it will be Libra season. Okay, now the sun is going to shine light on your house nine area. House 9 deals with legal matters, it deals with long distance travel, it deal, deals with higher education, philosophy, even dealing with um, other cultures. So that is going to be a focus for you once the sun moves into Libra. Let's look at the new moon. The new moon will be in Virgo on September 9th. And it will be in your area of life dealing with transformation. So I'm just going to pull one card to see what is your vibe around the new moon. What is something that you Aquarius people out there need to concentrate on? Let's see. Aura clan. Okay, so aura clan. Um, this can be in the form of just taking like a um, a salt bath or you can take some sage and just go around your body and cleanse your aura around that time, around the new moon. That's something that's good to do around the new moon. That's actually a good, um, that's something good to start because the new moon will be in your area of your life dealing with your transformation. So you can take a sage stick and just go around your body and just cleanse your aura, okay? So that's something that's really good for you to start doing. Let's look at the new at the full moon. The full moon will be in Aries on September 24th, and it's going to be in your area dealing with communications. 
All right, let's keep moving on because we have some aspects we want to talk about, Aquarius. Okay, on September 7th, we have Mercury in a trine to Saturn and Uranus. Okay, when Mercury is in a trine to Saturn, this is a great energy for concentration, for negotiations, for studying. So... When Mercury is in a trine to Uranus, that's a great energy for getting down to the bottom of um, getting down to the bottom of things and finding a solution. Now, Mercury will be in your area of life dealing with your transformation. Saturn and Uranus will be dealing with your spirituality and your home and family. So you put those together in a trine and they give each other luck. So expect some type of extra luck or just a boost of um, a good feeling in those areas. One day we need to watch out for is September 12th. This is when Venus is going to be in an opposition to Uranus. For you, this opposition is happening between your career and your home and your family life. So around that time, they are going to be butting heads for a lot of Aquarius out there. So keep that in mind. Okay, you might want to take a day or two off around that um, around that time, around September 12th. Let's keep going because we have Mars in a square to Uranus. This is an energy where you might lose your cool surrounding your outlook in life and your home and family. So just keep that in mind. That's September 18th. Okay, let's move on to this great trine we have. Mercury is going to be in a trine to Mars. This is an energy where relating to your legal matters and your outlook on life, you will be very assertive. Okay? This is a high energy aspect. You will be full of energy. You will be ready to face whatever you have to face to take care of your legal matters, to take care of your appearance, your demeanor, your outlook on life. So that's really great. On the same day, the sun is going to square Saturn. In your area of life, dealing with legal matters and spirituality. This can be a difficult transit for some people, uh, only because this transit tends to bring up issues. So those issues that you want to, you know, sweep under the rug and forget about, they will come up at this time. Okay. This is in your area of life dealing with legal matters and spirituality. Now, basically this is in your area of life dealing with your house 9 and your house 12. Your house 9 can deal with legal matters. It can also deal with long distance travel. It can deal with higher education. It can deal with um, things of that nature. Now, house 12 can deal with your spirituality. It can also deal with places of isolation. It can also deal with secrets. So just keep your eye on those topics around the 24th Aquarius. Now, on the 27th, we have the sun in a trine to Mars. And it's in your house 9, and Mars is in your house 1. So, this is an energy where you might be impatient, but you will be full of energy. You will be full of so much energy that you might come off as being impatient during this um during you know during this aspect it's in your area of your life dealing with legal matters or dealing with other cultures and your outlook on life so just remember that around the 27th now that's all i have for you this month uh if you would like a reading do contact me you can email me you can you can visit my website um whatever works for you and i do appreciate all of your donations Everything goes a long way, okay? Now, um, please like this video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And until next month, have a great month.